He was an American icon. Today, we are remembering Representative John Lewis, who died last night. He was 80 years old. Lewis spent years, a lifetime, fighting for civil rights and social justice. We can change America, and in changing America, we can change the world. Representative Lewis was one of the original freedom writers, challenging segregation laws in the South. In 1963, Lewis helped organize the March on Washington when thousands of activists gathered at the National Mall to hear Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. Lewis also marched on Bloody Sunday when state troopers attacked protesters on the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. He spent the last three decades in Congress serving as a Democrat from Georgia. In 2011, President Obama awarded Lewis the Presidential Medal of Freedom the nation's highest civilian honor. And generations from now, when parents teach their children what is meant by courage, the story of John Lewis will come to mind. Lewis's last public appearance was visiting the newly renamed Black Lives Matter Plaza in front of the White House. He walked the plaza with Washington, D.C.'s mayor, and the photographer who took these photos, Gary Williams, tweeted that he hopes the images inspire people to keep pushing for change and that it was an honor to capture this moment for Representative Lewis. Flags on all public buildings are lowered to half staff in honor of Representative Lewis. Governor Jared Polis ordered those flags to be lowered until sunset today, and President Trump has done the same thing at the White House. Many black leaders in Colorado say they were inspired by Lewis. Some even got an opportunity to work with him. Nine News reporter Sonia Gutierrez spoke to some of these local leaders, and here is how they elevate his memory and honor him tonight. He's so inspirational. He's a man of so much uh, compassion and heart for this country. He taught me um, what true love and true patriotism is which is fighting for a better America for all of us. Congressman John Lewis was unapologetically himself. He rightfully was characterized and described and known as the conscience of the Congress. And I consider myself really fortunate to have had the opportunity to see that up close, to see him in our caucus meetings, speaking truth to power on any number of important issues. I believe I am because of who he was. I'm standing on his shoulders because he created the pathway for me to be a state senator. My name is Director Tay Anderson. I proudly serve as Colorado's youngest black elected official on the Denver School Board. I'm State Representative Leslie Harrod. I represent House District 8 right here in Denver. I'm State Senator Rhonda Fields. I represent Arapahoe County, Senate District 29 in Aurora. Joe Nagus, Congressman for Colorado's 2nd Congressional District. He must be brave, bold, and courageous. That voice will be missed. Uh, you know, the, the, the moral courage to, uh, to, to stand up and, and fight for what you believe in and, and to... He always talked a lot uh, about making sure that we found a common connection amongst each other, right? He was, he was all about love. There was a time when people like me couldn't even vote, didn't have the right to vote. The reason why we're in the streets saying Black Lives Matter is because we need to get into good trouble in order to bring the, the change and the justice we want to see for Black Americans. I think the best way to honor him is to make sure that we exercise our right to vote. We need to take his lead and continue to fight and get into good trouble. It's, it's up to us now and, and, and to another generation of, of leaders, to the young folks uh, you know, who are organizing and, and pushing for change. Um, it's up to them to, to honor his memory.